Evelyn Rivas. I've been at Eastside since 2005. My name is Douglas Paul and this is my 18th year. Um, I've been here at Eastside since the beginning. I'm Lindsay Rouser. I've been here since we opened in 2005, so you can do the math. Horacio Andrade, I've been uh, teaching Spanish at Eastside from day one. I've been teaching 18 years here. This is my 18th year. My name is Mr. Perez. I have been here since we opened Eastside High School. Mr. Hickson, been here since we opened in 2005. I've taught Art 1, Art 2, AP Art, and Yearbook. I'm the Activities Director here at Eastside High School. They recruited me from the private school I was working at to come and help open Eastside, and I've been doing ASB ever since. I teach math. Abbott and I'm also one of the band directors. I also serve as a district lead art teacher. I'm still teaching music. And I teach English 9. I'm currently a teacher on special assignment. I help out with all the special education stuff as well as working with community staff, teachers, admin, and all that jazz. So it was in Palmdale in the beginning. We shipped all of our students uh, to a campus down in Palmdale for the first semester because even the temporary campus wasn't available. The school actually started um, at some kind of like elementary school for rent out in Palmdale. Yeah, we were, we were off of uh, 40th and was it Avenue S. We were across the street from Dry Town. The kids will talk about how those bus rides um, from here to there were just this really big like bonding experience. Well, for me, it was my first few years of teaching, so um, it wasn't always easy. It's been a roller coaster from day one. It was it was hectic. It was magic. We only had ninth graders, but yeah, no, it was interesting. As the first principal said, uh, it was like herding cats. By the time they were seniors, all the staff pretty much knew all of the kids because we basically grew up with them as they started here from the first year. Sobbing, sobbing. I was sobbing a lot. <laughs> I used to love that. You no, I don't. Me. First few years at Eastside were really, um, really difficult, but really special. Looking back about a lot of really fun and awesome teachers that are no longer here with us, different places, um, and I miss them, especially Robin. I mean, I think it's the same challenge we've always had. It's, you know, attendance, getting the kids where they need to be, getting kids motivated, trying to get kids plugged in places. I think that's what we've been doing since the beginning. We're still trying to do, right? Trying to get kids, you know, sports, activities, whatever, but something. Well, the building process was never super fun. And when you start with freshman and then freshman, sophomore, freshman, sophomore, junior, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, uh, it's sort of like the blind leading the blind. When we initially were designing the school to be built here, as soon as some of the community members found out in the Anilo Valley what the school was going to look like, they wanted to move it to the west side. So one of my big challenges, very frankly, with you was, um, was learning how to work with, with the students. I was coming from a place where all the students were middle class, they were primarily white, and the parents were very involved, and it was, it was different. The, the freshmen? I had a six period class where it was like 32 boys and like three girls. It took me a while before I figured out how to approach the students and what they were going to respond to. It was a big challenge. Some, some of the students used to treat me really bad in the beginning, uh, uh, but with the years, you know, it become, has become better. But I think the first few years, everyone was trying to get used to, you know, a school full of freshmen, and then yes, they, they, you know, they got a little older, so there was definitely some challenges with um, establishing maybe who we were at Eastside, who were we, who was, who's the pride. Um, but once the years rolled on, then that, that Eastside pride definitely started showing. It was my very first year we were out in Palmdale and I was working with an ASB student and she was asking me a question and I did not understand what she was saying to me. Um, she kept asking me, well, Ms. Rouser, where do you stay? Where do you stay, Ms. Rouser? And I was like, I don't know, I don't know what you mean. Um, where do you stay? She was asking me where I live. Many of us who started here, the originals, we said this is something that the kids on the east side of Lancaster need. So we fought for it and it's here. So we're, we're glad that it's here. So that was one of the big challenges. Several big accomplishments. Of course, we're an avid distinguished school. We got PBIS recognition. We got Project Lead the Way recognition. The band is 
currently one is the largest band in the district. Our showcases that we've had in the past um, where we've gathered the arts in, in the school, well not just the arts, but mostly visual performing arts. All of the different areas of the school are showcasing Eastside students. It's, it's been a big event where we've had thousands of people come through the school. Uh, most people come here and they love how it looks, so that's a great accomplishment. We've had a lot of, you know, sort of material accomplishments and lots of first places, etc. but really the biggest accomplishment is the growth. Well, the, the, the foreign language department, uh, in, uh, you know, got bigger. Well, I keep an alumni network uh, of ASB students and so I just sent a big blanket email to hundreds of email addresses that I had no idea if they were live or not and um, what came back was amazing. We've proven to everybody that Eastside is not a poor or uneducated community. We're actually rich with people that are dedicated, talented and that want to succeed. We have the Leones that that's a big accomplishment. Performing in front of thousands of people, I mean, I've, I think I counted it once, our kids perform in excess of, you know, well, when you add the fairs and poppy fest, it's in the hundreds of thousands. So getting out there and doing that kind of work um, really changes uh, students. I think just the fact that there are people who have been here as long, you know, there's five of us who've been here this many years, but there's a lot of people who have been here since the second year and are still here. So we still have a handful of those because people like being here. Again, it's just a, it's a place to be. And you know, I think a lot of students, I think they get a lot more real here than they do other places. And I think staff are a little bit more real with them because they recognize it. it's like, look, here's your challenges. We know your challenges. Great, now take a seat. Let's get our stuff handled. Uh, a few years ago, we did um, our Wasteland project uh, that Robin and I worked with along with multiple other teachers at Eastside. And the experiences that students got to do to go out into the community, see the problem, make projects out of them, learn about them, and then of course showcase these projects uh, at Showcase. My kids who have gone out and used the things that we've learned both in ASB and English to, to win themselves. I think that's the biggest accomplishment is that we do have people who, when they, especially if they come back, if they've left and come back, they realize this is where they really want to be. And I think to me that's an accomplishment. There's something obviously going on right here when staff want to stay and when they want to come back. You should just be patient and don't take any of it personally because our kids bring things to us every day uh, that we have no control over and they have no control over. The main thing is to establish a relationship with the students, to care about the students, to show them that you care. If you, sh if, if you do that, you're going to be uh, uh, you're gonna have a good relationship with the students and you're gonna have a, a better uh, classroom. I think it's so important, uh, so important, that if you can do Eastside High School, you should do Eastside High School. We've had teachers that have left, come back, left, come back, whatever. All of them pretty much say the same thing. It's, it's no different anywhere else. It's true that sometimes when you first enter a class or the school, you might think of like, oh my gosh, what's going on over there or what's, you know, is there a problem? Is there an issue? But the thing is that once you become part of the students' lives and they know that you are here for them, that you care about them, then like the term is, they got your back. You will not find a more loyal set of kids. Once you make it through that point where they can trust you, they will do anything for you. And they will, your, the leadership that comes out of these kids, they, they will take care of each other and you at a level that you're just not used to. You will not get in any other school. These kids need good teachers. And so even if it takes you a while to be the teacher that you want to be, it's so important. These kids need good teachers. They need you. And not everybody can do Eastside High School. I don't think I, I would be where I am now without the teachers around me working together, learning from each other. There's tons of really good examples here from biomed all the way through the math department, all the English department, they're just great. So get out there and see and watch. And I'm sure admin will let you go, you know, take a look at somebody. I've been at other campuses and the spirit at Eastside High School doesn't, I mean, it's just unmatched. Sometimes the days are gonna be rough um, but at the end of the year, when you see the showcase, you see your students work, you see how much they've progressed, 
it's 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 worth it. Come to come to the showcase, um, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You never know the impact you have on students. You never know the impact you'll have on students. You never know the impact you'll have on students. Well, of course, we don't know what the impact, uh, what kind of impact we're having. You never know the impact you're going to have on students. You never know the impact that you're making on students. They might not always tell you, but sometimes years later, you'll find out. like Sears Photo Studio. <laughs> I'm not a good student. You clearly don't know me. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Oh, thank no. you guys. This is going to erase it all. And, and, <laughs> I actually didn't even read the email and then you responded like, hey, yeah, let me go back and I'll get back to you at some point. Oh. You're welcome. I've tangled your cable here. Let's straighten it out. I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? Yeah. For me, some of the challenges being here at Eastside High School, how real do you want me to be? The okay. question is, did it redline? <laughs> it did. It did. If I had been involved in something like, like Mr. Jimenez, that is involved in sports and that, he probably can, can say much more than that. I'll give you two different versions, and then you can take the one that you feel comfortable with. Okay. How, you want to do it? <laughs> like, how bad do we want to make this fool look? <laughs>